So sitting right here used to be a Nissan Micra. We pulled bits off it to do various experiments, and if you remember, Luke made our office chairs out of it. So it was scrap. But we know a guy who knows a guy. We had a word, and we swapped that Nissan Micra, £100, and we got this. Now, I love minis. I think they're a classic car. I think they have style. I think they have character. I would have liked a traditional classic mini, but I still love this one. Now, I've always wanted to do an electric car conversion, but if you're going to spend that amount of effort on something, of course, you want something that you want to own. And I don't want to do Nissan Micras down. They're an, an awesome car. It's just they don't have the same style as a Mini. And there's a lots of cars I would have done it on. Uh, a Cinquecino, for instance. But this is the one that we've got. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and convert this to electric. Now, of course, there are lots of things on this car I can't do. I mean, it's got a 1.6 engine in it. I don't have the gear for getting that out. So, first things first is take that engine out. Okay, so I like to think I know what I'm doing, but to be honest, I've got no idea, okay? So, and that's like lots of people, I'm sure. What you need really is a bit of help. When you talk to folks, you're gonna get some help. It's about talking to folks, it's about being open to it. You can have, find somebody. And the great guys I found are these guys here. Canterbury Automotive. They're a small run family firm. They're about two doors down from me. They're a bunch of great guys and they're really tremendously helpful. All you really need to do is go out and talk to people. You'll find amazing people just by talking. Okay, so. These guys have actually agreed to help me out with taking out the engine because I just can't do that. I like to think I can, but I can't. So I've got the professionals, and these guys are going to give me a hand, and their rates are really amazingly cheap, actually, as far as I'm concerned. Really happy to have their help. Anyway, they've gone off to get the car. <laughs> To see the final product. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I was little, I think Saturdays, um, Saturdays at garage was yeah, it was a common thing. Yeah, I cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it, so um, it makes it more of a hobby at that age. What's good about these? Is we've done plenty in the past, so it's not actually a bad job to do. Fantastic. I really appreciate the help, mate. I really do. It's all right when we got a quiet afternoon. It's like picking people out. Awesome! <laughs> you know what it's like? Absolutely. That is just crazy. And there we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. What an awesome bunch of guys, eh? I mean, that would have been impossible for me. Charge, 100 quid. I mean, wow. So if you fancy giving these guys a ring, you're in Canterbury, go for it. They're really great, and I know I'm plugging them, but crikey, what a hand that has been. So, so far, sorry for the noise, so far I've spent 100 quid on the car, 100 quid on the engine, so 200 quid to get the thing ready, really. Incredible, I mean that is a cheap electric vehicle. Anyway, I'll carry on with this project. The next one is the actual motor build. I wouldn't expect it to be sort of instant, you know, it's not going to be a week and it's all done. It's going to take a while. But the first stages, acquiring the car and getting the engine out, they're done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.